Hey guys, JT here with an unboxing of a 4S battery from Mawafi. Um, you guys know that I've had the 2S uh, LiPo's and also the 3S, so now they also offer 4S LiPo batteries as well. Um, you can find them on Amazon and then also on eBay as well, and they do offer free shipping. Um, one of the reasons why, like I said, I got this is because I have the 2S's and then I have the 3S's, and they offer um, a different milliamp size in the 3S's. They have a 5,000 milliamp and then also a 3,000 milliamp. So the 5,000, of course, is going to give you a longer run time and stuff, but they give you the option of having a 3S as well. So they always give you uh, <laughs> this little sign here, happy. Not happy. <laughs> I ought to put this in some of my videos um, after I run some cars and just put this up whether you guys know I liked it or I didn't like it. So um, anyway, they always give you this up in here. Uh, let me get this out this package so I'm not doing a lot of rattling and stuff. Okay, so what's always cool about their 2 and 3S LiPos um, and even the 4S is now that they give you this little balance checker in here. And if you guys don't have one of these, you'll have some if you start buying some of their batteries, so that'll be good. And these are, I guess would say, somewhat of a low-budget battery, but they perform well, and they are a hard-case LiPo. And like I said, this LiPo is a 5,000 milliamp 60C. So for you X-Max owners out there, anybody that's even running 4S, this will be um, great for you guys to have at a, a lower price because you can get two of these for about 100 bucks shipped. So that's, that's actually really, really good. And it comes with Dean's connectors on here. Um, but I did talk to uh, one of the reps over there. And they did say they are going to start making some with some EC5 connectors on there. So that's going to be great for us uh, guys that have these armor cars and stuff where they have the EC5 or IC5 connectors on this speed controller. So you don't have to worry about either cutting this off and soldering one on there or buying an adapter for it. Um, this thing also comes with 10 gauge wire on there as well. So it's more than capable of running this type of um, battery without having any issues. I did have one 4S a long time ago. I think it was a Zippy or something that had like 12 gauge wire or something like that. So did have a couple issues with that periodically. But um, anyway, let's check to see how balanced. Uh, ooh, that's loud, right? <laughs> how balanced the cell is. So it's at 15.6 volts. One volt is... 3.9, uh, started back over again. Fourth one's at 3.87, all 15.6, 3.89, 3.90, 3.90, and 3.87. So it's basically in a storage mode, which I'll go ahead and charge this up. And um, I'm actually going to run this inside my Mugen buggy. Um, you guys have seen that run before because it can run for um, up to four. It's like, but I haven't got that up to running six S lipo. So I'm going to go ahead and finish getting this charged up and then we'll go ahead and put this inside the Mugen and get this bad boy rolling. One other thing that I do like that they do real quick that I'll mention with their batteries, they do give you some Velcro straps. So these actually come in handy because sometimes I do lose them on my 8 scale buggies or trucks or sometimes I do. They do um, lose their grip when they get a lot of dirt and grime in them. So this actually helps me to just replace those and put those in there. So... That's some pluses that you get with this also that this lipo checker because I don't think many companies give you this. So, But anyway, let me get this thing charged up and get ready to test this out in the Mugen buggy. Alright guys, so here we are with a test. So I'm going to do something a little different. I'm actually going to put my GPS on there. You guys see that I have this thing pretty much um, zeroed out to zero miles per hour. Hopefully I can get a pretty good signal over here because I do want to show you guys... Uh, we'll see real quick. Let's drive it down here for one second and then bring it on back. See if we get some kind of signal. Sometimes I get good signals, uh, sometimes I don't. Uh, yeah, we're getting something. Six miles per hour. So, of course, it doesn't go six miles per hour. You guys knew that. Get this thing uh, situated up. See what kind of uh, speeds we get on this right here, real quick. Sorry about that. Lost control of a couple of things. We'll get this situated. So it's going pretty good. Um, I always say once a car wakes up or the battery wakes up, it like runs a lot better. So this is going good. Let's see what kind of uh, speeds we got on this. So, 
said I am testing this on 4S and I have a um, 2100 kV motor in here so that's going good for this you guys can see that uh, basically 52 miles per hour out the box on a 4S LiPo I got a 2150 kV motor here in my Mugen so um, this is going good guys I'm gonna run this for probably a few more minutes get this to focus in sorry about that I don't have all my adjustments set but I did want to test this before the uh, sun goes down I'm kind of crack -thening. you guys know how that is want to drive your car the sun's going down you're like oh no so don't act like it's just me all right Let's see if we peek this thing out just a little bit yeah it's pretty much peeking out right there All right, let's see what we got. Let's see if it went up to 52 at least. Ah, I got <laughs> a tenth of a uh, mile on there, so 51.8. So basically, you can get about 52 miles out this car, which is pretty good, um, knowing that my low C8 um, does about 54. No, actually, it's a little bit more than that, um, with different kind of settings and stuff like that. But this has been good, guys. So. Um, that's a test of this. I'm actually going to do more running of this so you guys will see it. I'll test it on my armor vehicles and stuff as well. But I wanted to go ahead and do a quick test on this. So as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, stay tuned for more videos. And find a link to this battery down below. Like I said, it's going to cost you about 50 bucks shipped and that's real cheap for a forest light bulb. So thanks guys for watching.